Good morning, everybody. I am cooking for the girls this morning um, some ground turkey up, and I'm adding rice and stuff to it, so I figured I might as well cook and um, do my devotion this morning together. Why not? What better thing to do, right? Um, and, of course, I've got my... <laughs> cleanup crew in case I drop anything. Oh, Harley, this is her spot. She's, if I'm in the kitchen and she's ready for breakfast, that's where she's going to sit. Normally Hannah's like right by me as well, but we're trying to get her to stay out of the kitchen because she will eat until she explodes. She is the first Rottweiler I have ever had in my life that knows no boundaries. So uh, we got to nip that in the butt at, at three. <laughs> it's just getting worse and worse and worse. She's like a bottomless pit, and I don't know where she gets it from. So, anywho, um, instead of making them, I'm going to make meatballs for them later because they adore those, and they're great little treats for them when they come in from outside, especially for Harley. Um, a little bit of protein and that. Um, and then I got these um, grain-free um, peanut butter bones from Sam's Club. Um, I think a, a five-pound box is... $7.98 maybe? It's, I don't know. Whatever it is, it is so freaking cheap and there's not any chemicals in it. It's all natural ingredients. Nothing to harm your pet. So I'd strongly recommend if you have a Sam's Club membership to check it out. It's the grain-free peanut butter. The peanut butter flavored bones that I buy them and they adore them. Um, I haven't tasted them because I, I just haven't, but I probably should. They smell delicious, so I'm sure since I have no sugar, they're just kind of plain, but I'm not supposed to have sugar anyway. So, anywho, so I'm, um, I bought, um, for the first time this, uh, Seeds of Change when I placed an order with this company of quinoa and brown rice. And it's flavored, so I figured, you know, we're going to add that to the breakfast this morning too. Because they like all kinds of stuff. It's all good. And I, I always cook. Since I've been here, I have found that coconut oil is quite the neutralizer. Um, it's 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 unbelievable the um, uh, what it does. It changes the composition of. I guess that'd be the right word to use. Um, For instance, if you got a fatty meat and you coated your pan in coconut oil, you'll be amazed at the difference. It's as if it it breaks down the fats better or something. I don't know. I still need to research that. But, you know, I'm a think tank. I'm constantly trying new things. But coconut oil is, is the one that I like to cook with the most because it is so good for our bodies. It was provided here from God. Um... No wonder it's so good for us. No wonder I'm so allergic to things that God did not provide us with. Um, anything that man has manufactured, Natalie's allergic to. Isn't that interesting? But the things that are of the earth, of a that are of God, Natalie's not allergic to. Oh. While I'm at it, I'm going to take my remedies. So you can see those. Might as well. Um, I forgot I had to rearrange my room last night because of the cleaning people. So today is at the 23rd, I believe. So here is, yeah, today's the 23rd, and I. This is day 20, so I have 10 days left of my of this protocol. Sorry, I had to put you down. Can't get you. So this is what I take. This is what I take. One, one of these. Um, I have to keep myself a cowl. Sorry, 
about all that. I should have, I just on a whim decided to show you what I do for my um, wellness. So. Sorry for the crash. <laughs> so here it is. And you can see, here's my finger. It's a small little bottle and you just do one drop under your tongue, hold it for five seconds and swallow. There's my meds for the day. That's it. And CBD or THC for the pain. I take nothing else. So I would say um, that's way better than what the doctors had me on. And it'd make your hair curl if you saw. Well, I've got record of it all, of all the drugs I've, I was prescribed. That just made me sicker and sicker and sicker. So, not anymore. We don't have that here. <laughs> So I need to add a little bit of moisture to the girls' breakfast. So, so hopefully, um, purified water. That's my moisture. So let's do our morning devotion while this is cooking. And I gotta beat it down a little with my pampered chef, my trusty pampered chef mallet. Although this could be a nice little weapon that could do some damage <laughs> if you needed a weapon. Short. <laughs> Janice will have to watch this. She'll laugh. My perfect pampered chef lady, Tammy Unquist. Thank you for introducing me to Janice. She has been a lifelong friend. From that party you took me to with you years ago when we worked at qmp <laughs> there's some memories margie oh lord was she a handful and shaler what a doll he was love that man and tim what a great son and a great husband a great dad to his family what great family great family but that margie oh she was something else she was spitfire Henry had us all get out but uh, she was strong in her convictions. Just there was just some, some issues with some of her convictions that were poor business practices that I made sure she heard loud and clear. And that was me going to college really early on in my college education. So it's kind of funny anyway. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get them some bowls out and let it cool because I think I'm going to taste it, see what it tastes like, because I always taste their food before I feed it to them, because if it doesn't taste good to me, why would I give it to my girls? Okay, that's delicious. Hopefully, it, mm, yeah. Um, I'm going to cook that a little bit more. Anyway, as I pause, thinking, let's read today's devotion. Today, Tuesday, November 23rd, I'll let you see Harley, um, read Revelation 1, 4 through 8. In fact, you should read the whole book of Revelations so you understand the magnitude of what we're living in. We're living in Revelations right now, truly. Psalms 120 is the other one. Uh, homework assignment. Behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him, and all the tribes of the earth will wail on account of him. Even so. Amen. Revelations 1, 7. 
Today's title is Alpha and Omega. This should be good. Our Lord is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Through him, the world was created. In the incarnation, the word became flesh and dwelt among us. Our Lord is the one who is, who was, and who is to come. When our Lord first came into the world, it was of the littlest of children, at home in the womb of his mother, Mary. He will come again in great glory, riding on the clouds, attending by his angels. Every eye shall see him, and every knee shall bow, will bow. Christians will sing for joy. Amen. Those who rejected the Lord will wail deeply in sorrow and fear, which they should. Stop listening to the devil, because he keeps lying to you, just so you know. Perhaps this is all too much to think about. Too frightening? Now for me, I'm fearless. <laughs> what you got? Just saying. I ain't afraid of you or anyone else. I'm in his hands. He just leads me around. <laughs> Boy, has he ever. Boy, has he ever. But this Lord is the one who has freed us from our sins by his blood. He has made his church a kingdom of priests, now invited into God's presence. When he comes again, we will see the nail marks on his hands and his pierced side. And we will remember that he loves us so much that he was willing to suffer all so that we may be his own and we will rejoice. Dear Jesus, come soon to deliver us. Make haste to help us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. It's amazing what will choke me up these days. And that does not surprise me that that choked me right up. If you have never watched The Chosen, you should check it out. It's a pretty amazing um, show. And um, I guess Netflix is now, um, they've got the first season on there. It's been beautifully written. Beautifully written. So... Um, I might be helping out a, a, a person down the road that is um, from another country that's an artist. Um, review her tax stuff. Just as a fresh pair of eyes looking at it, that's all. Not on the clock under my business silence no more because it sounds to me and I don't know all the particulars that if that she might be there might be some wrongdoing but she won the lottery um, oh, it's a country with the name of a bee it's not Belize I can't remember anyway but she won the lottery to come to this to the US so um, I had just recently when, you know, when I moved here, realized that people from other countries, there's requirements for them to leave their country in order to come into ours. And you have to meet those requirements and then you're selected based on those requirements. I'm gonna research that some more too because that is a bunch of BS. That is living in socialist countries, and you want America to be like that, then you just keep sitting in your easy chair with your trap shut and watch the news and keep complaining because you are the problem, just so you know. You need to get up out of that easy chair and open up that gap and use it to help save this world. I'm not talking about just America. The whole world needs our help. And if we don't unite, it's going to get worse before it gets better. 
So why don't you think about that on a Tuesday morning? Because the world is not getting any better. And this recent case ruling is just another perfect example of what we're dealing with in this world. People think it's a victorious win. Well, you know what? Everybody's got their own opinion. And my mouth is going to be sealed on this because I don't follow the news. I just hear snippets of it, and that's all I need to hear to form my own opinion. And that's my own opinion, and again, my lips are going to be sealed on that one. So, I am um, super excited. I'm feeling better. So, Bianca007 is going to get her license plates today. We're going to get them ordered anyway for her... Um, They'll, they'll come in the mail because they're a vanity plate, you know. <laughs> um, tried to get them yesterday, but they were closed. Doggone it. Oh, well, what do you do? So, um, it's going to be a great day. Um, my other devotion for today is with my, um, I've had this, um, actually, ironically, since I broke up with a boyfriend years ago that really shattered my heart. He was... I thought my Prince Charming, that he was not. He wasn't a wolf in sheep's clothing, but he was pretty dang close. But anyway, um, this is my Walk by Faith calendar. And um, today's devotion or scripture, and sometimes they're not scriptures, they're just beautiful little things. Um, your own soul is nourished when you are kind. Proverbs eleven seventeen, And on that note, I am going to finish up this. And um, I'm going to have to cool this down before I give it to the girls. But they are waiting with bated breath. And I'm going to, I'll videotape them and upload that later too. Um, if they, hopefully, I've got lift off with my Princess Harley. Because I truly... It's been a struggle. She ate a whole pack of andouille sausage, so I had to go buy more for my gumbo. <laughs> so it's uh, it smells good, and it looks amazing. So this is going to be their breakfast this morning, hopefully for Harley. Because it's quite yummy, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> so it's kind of fun to create for them. Because I eat it too. And I eat small little portions. I don't eat a lot of it. And the edema feels like it's gone. I'm not waking up with it. Amazing. Truly amazing. So, on that note, have a great Tuesday. Be kind to others. Open your mouth and use it for the greater of good. Enough for evil. There's enough of that evil out there. We need to start. Too much of that. We need to get more closer to him. So, anyway. Bye. Love you.